Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Today is all about a kickback, relaxed, easy hot dog on the griddle. Phenomenal. Watch how we do it. You saw the title right. You saw the thumbnail right. Today we're doing an old school classic. Hot dogs on the griddle. Saw a comment a few months back that somebody was surprised that you could put hot dogs on the griddle and it's threw me for a loop. As we've learned through the griddle group, as we've learned through the YouTube channel, as we've learned through the relationships we built with you guys people are on whole different trajectories whole different levels when it comes to cooking hot dogs is no different not a lot of talking today i'm just going to enjoy a fantastic hot dog right the toppings are endless it really depends on the region you come from whether you like beef pork beef and pork whether you like rippers and splitters whether you like it spicy whether you like it red hot whether you like it with chili whether you want a salad on it coleslaw wrapped in bacon it's endless right the base of a hot dog is what we're here for today. Let's just go after it. We got some hot dog buns, we got some sausage buns, we got some Nathan's hot dogs, and we got some John Tuville cheddar sausages, like both of those. All right, to kick the video off, we have a boiling water station. Throw all that juice in there. If you're going through a lot of hot dogs on the 4th of July and stuff like that, it's a great way to keep your hot dogs warm. And then as people come through, you can always finish them off on the griddle. Right here on the sheet tray, we have some water in there. We have a cooling rack. Basically, you see the steam producing and I like a soft bun. So we're just gonna put these maybe like that side down for now. Dome that to trap some of that heat. And then we will be able to flip those over. Sausage buns, same thing. That smell that you're getting from the griddle right now is just a timeless classic. That's why I'm doing the video. You know, we've had hundreds of videos of like in-depth recipes where we start from the smoker, or we start from the crock pot, or we start from a stock pot and work our way all the way up to the griddle. Even sometimes we have very involved griddle recipes. This just warms the heart. It's just a hot dog on the griddle. There's a thousand ways to do it. We're just gonna rotate them back and forth. I love a nice crisp char. Don't be scared to add a little oil. Kind of help crisp up that skin. Steam in your buns. Take two of those hot dogs. Let them boil. Go ahead and start searing those off. Oh, you know what I forgot to do in the whole video? Dang. I wanted to save a hot dog and rip it right down the middle and then put my bacon press on it and have like an, a split hot dog. That's what I wanted to do. But now that they're already cooked, I don't want to open it up and lose all those juices. That's another way to do it too. I like, I kind of like that idea. It gets that char a little bit more char on the inside. Some people like it, some people don't. That gum it. When the holidays roll around and you guys are pumping out some serious food, I highly recommend one of these. We just bought it from like the local restaurant supply store. You can look on Amazon. I'm not gonna link to it. Um, you can find your own. This is like dent and damaged because I don't care. It's going to be on the griddle. Nine times out of ten, everything in the restaurant is dent and damaged anyways after heavy use. But you find your cool spot. You get that loaded down with some hot water and some dogs. You can keep them things for a long time. And then it gives you a ton of real estate space. You can do your burgers. You can toast your buns. Oh, yeah. Look at that bad boy right there. Take one of those nice steamed sausage buns. Oh yeah. Maybe just for a quick second while I'm getting everything ready. 
regardless of what you put on your hot dog, I was surprised to see how much hate where they say there never should be ketchup on a hot dog. And you guys know my philosophy. If you like it, you eat it. Little peppers and onions. Come back in with one of those sausages. I'm gonna hit it with some of that brat and beer mustard. Ooh, the things are tender. Look at that splitter right there. Oh, that's perfect. And just for the haters. <laughs> that, that was gonna be yours. Yeah. I oh, think, you I, can't do it. I think I'm a hater too. <laughs> Classic dog. Well, those bones can just split a little bit better. This is more my route right here. Yep, little onion. Yeah, fresh onion. That's what I want too. Yep. We've got a fantastic video on homemade um, homemade chili, and we did chili cheese dogs. Now those are good. Homemade, be chili. specific. Homemade hot dog chili. Oh yeah, yeah. But look how much more color you get on the griddle. Holy smokes, that's like the original fair food. Nothing really else needs to be said. Just hot dogs on the griddle. Just having fun, add that extra flavor, using the griddle for what it's worth, not stressing over 35 different ingredients and 18 different steps. I do think that the buns and the steam thing is really key. And also, like, like I said, if you're having like a ton of hot dogs going on at the same time, start them off in that hot water. Um, take that juice from the hot dog pack, throw it in there. And then just keep rotating them on the griddle so you don't have, you know, maybe like 30 or 40 hot dogs cooked at the same time and nobody's coming to get them. Kind of just a good way to keep them rotated through through the summer. So there you go. For the haters, for the sausage lovers, I'm kind of like a traditionalist. Yep, that's the one I want too. <laughs> I mean, look at that bun. <laughs> Oh man, mm -hmm. that steamed bun. Look how juicy that hot dog is. Way better than boiled. I agree. It's just a hot dog. But when done right, golly, it's so good. It's that classic fare. Peppers, onions, a little bit of seasoning. And last but not least, the one for the haters. Mixed with the mustard ain't half bad. You guys are interested? Hit that join button down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with your friends. Peace. I want the mustard and onion. <laughs> I know. That's my favorite too. I'm making another one. Oh, right I'm there. Biting you over it. <laughs> that's my favorite. Hmm.